guys, but I'm always trying to become a morning person and it just never happens. So I'm lucky that I even got up at around 7.30 this morning. This is the first thing that I see when I open my eyes is Miss Holly. She always seems to wedge herself in between my boyfriend and I in the morning, but she does sleep on the floor on her bed beside me. Yeah, she just wants to go back to sleep. She's not having it this morning. <laughs> so the first thing that I always do is just scroll on my phone. I'm always checking like my Twitter and my Instagram and stuff in the morning and emails. I also like going through all y'all's comments and stuff. I just love reading them so much. I want you on me. If you want any girl. Don't forget, I also do have a giveaway going on right now. You can enter to win a bunch of Pacifica Beauty products, so I'll have the link down below for that if you're interested. So I'm finally taking the plunge and getting out of bed. I'm always freezing in the morning, so I'm going to go and get my cup of coffee, which is my favorite part of the day. And I'm always too lazy in the morning to make it, so I always make it the night before and set the delay brew, which is the best invention ever. I did have a Keurig, but I recently retired it back to my old coffee maker because my boyfriend and I both like to drink coffee in the morning, so it helps just to make a whole pot. And so now I'm just feeding Miss Holly, but she didn't seem too interested in her food this morning. There ain't nothing but a smile down on the floor And you whisper in my ear, baby, I'm yours It's just the thought of you gets me so high So high Girl, you're the one I want you on me And if you want any hey girl after I've mixed up my coffee, I'm just pouring my boyfriend's because I'm nice like that. And look at that Duck Dynasty cup. <laughs> That's his favorite. Now I'm just making a small breakfast before my workout later. This is just maple and brown sugar oatmeal and I topped it with some bananas and some walnuts as well. This is usually about the time that Holly likes to go out and sunbathe on the balcony, so I'm just putting her out there. And I always like to stand outside on the balcony in the morning and just see how much of a pretty day it is outside. You see how hazy it looks? That's how hot and humid it was today. It was awful. But it was still really nice. So now I'm back in bed. I'm just going to eat my breakfast in bed and watch HLN News with Nathan. This is something we do almost every morning. I just love to have my coffee with him in bed and just catch up on all the newest stories on the news and stuff. And Morning Express with Robin Mead is my favorite news in the morning because it's not all serious stuff. It's also funny stuff too. And Holly is begging for me, of course. Let me know what news station you guys like to watch in the morning. So now I'm finally getting dressed for my workout clothes. I like to walk Holly first before my workout for a little cardio warm-up and she loves it too so she likes to explore and stuff. She always pitches a fit whenever I get the harness out. She does not want to put it on but she has to wear it so she always walks away from me but once she gets it on she's excited and ready to go outside. Just to get up next to you. So now I'm back inside and ready to get started on my workout. I've really been enjoying doing workout videos at home instead of going to the gym. It's just very refreshing and it's something different to do than just going to the gym in the normal routine. Nicole or Speak Now 17 has really gotten me into the HIT workouts from Tone It Up. So I will put my whole workout playlist that I have. I'll put the link for it down below. It's an unlisted playlist, but I always send it to people if they want some good workouts and stuff because I have a whole playlist of my favorite ones. So I work out for about 45 minutes to an hour and then I'm finally going to take a shower after being all sweaty and gross. So in the shower I use my Living Proof Curl Conditioning Wash and Detangling Rinse. I love this curling system because it's just amazing on my hair. It's so luxurious and nice. I also use my St. Ives Oatmeal and Shea Butter Body Wash as well as my Michael Todd Charcoal Detox Cleanser in the shower. And this is my Sauna Clear brush. I just wanted to show it to you guys again. I've mentioned it before. I usually use this at night but I recently got a new brush head which is nice and white. Um, but you definitely have to replace your brush head every six months and I just got a new one finally. And they also have new colors and designs and stuff of the sauna clear so it's just amazing so I will put the link down below if you're interested in that and I also have a video too comparing this brush to the clear sonic so be sure to check that out as well then for toner I'm using my Michael Todd blue green algae antibacterial toner on just a cotton round this is my favorite toner I've used it for years now and then I'm just going to brush my teeth where that sets in and I'm also going to be using some body lotion. This is the Nerium Firming Body Contour Cream. I've been trying this out. It's supposed to help firm your skin like cellulite and stuff. So I will definitely report back to you guys on how that works for me. 
And then I'm just using the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion all over the rest of my body. I just use the toning cream on like my thighs and my stomach and stuff. So now I'm going to be using my prescription acne treatment, which is just the Axone Gel. And it really works well too. You have to get it from your dermatologist though. So then for my under eye treatment, I'm going to be using the Eye Eraser Duo from Michael Todd. This actually comes with an eye cream as well as the eye eraser. This little gadget is amazing at actually making your eye cream sink into your skin. It actually vibrates when you touch the metal part. It says it's supposed to combine sonic, ionic, and thermal infused technology in one, which is supposed to help promote natural collagen and elastin formation. It also is supposed to help treat fine lines, puffiness, and dark circles as well. So I'm going to be testing this out a little bit longer. So far, I really like it, but I will definitely let you guys know how it works for me and what my results are. Then for my moisturizer, I'm using the Michael Todd Citrus Cream Moisturizer, which really helps with my dark spots as well as redness, and it just helps moisturize my skin because my skin can be pretty dry, especially around my nose. I'm using the Clean & Clear Prissa Gel Tin just because I had a little bit of a blemish on my chin, and I really like using this before makeup. So I always have my hair up in just a cotton t-shirt to prevent frizz, which I definitely recommend if you have curly hair or just any hair in general. I'm going to take it down while it's still a little bit wet and use the Living Proof No Frizz Leave-In Conditioner. Then I'm going to be using the Living Proof Curl Defining Styling Cream and this really helps to shrink up my curls. It also defines them and just reduces frizz even more. And I really like just how thick and hydrating it is for my hair. So now this is usually when I go and get dressed. I'm going to be picking out my outfit of the day. I have a crazy obsession with crop tops and anything floral print, so that's what the majority of my closet is filled with. I just paired the crop top with some high-waisted denim shorts from American Eagle. These are so comfortable. So now it's finally time to do my makeup. So I plan on doing an updated just daily makeup routine very soon, but I'm just showing you a couple of the products that I'm using today, and then I'll just skip over the rest and I'll do a video on that very soon so the video doesn't get too long. But this is the Garnier BB Cream. It's my favorite BB Cream of all time. I use it as my foundation every single day. And my face is a lot whiter than my body because I do self-tan, so this just helps even everything out. And I just got the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Coverage Concealer, so I'm just trying that out for the first time today. And I actually really liked it, but I was a little bit shocked that it wasn't as full coverage as I thought it was going to be. You can see the brush I used to apply it. If you think I should use something different or if you have it and you know a way to make it more full coverage, definitely let me know what I'm doing wrong. So this is the makeup look I went with today, just something very easy. I used a little bit of a navy blue pencil liner and a pink lip as well. So after my makeup, I always just dry my hair with my diffuser attachment on my cheap blow dryer and I just push up the roots to give it some volume. So after I'm done drying my hair, I'm going to go over to my jewelry on one. I'm just going to pick out the jewelry I'm going to wear for the day. I went with my Michael Kors gold watch that I actually got for a graduation gift. I'm obsessed with it. It's just so gorgeous and I just can't believe I even have one. So then I'm just adding on a blue bracelet and then just some flower pink and white earrings. And then I'm just going to layer up just a longer neck necklace with a shorter little bow necklace. I also wanted to show you guys that I do usually add a little bit of the Living Proof Curl Enhancing Styling Mousse just on top of my hair after it's pretty much all the way dry just to cover up any like frizzy spots that I still have. I just use a little bit. You want to just work quickly with this mousse because once it dries it can be a little bit sticky but I really like the hold that it has. I'm just putting on some sandals from American Eagle. These are so comfy and they're my favorite. I also added a little thin braided belt to the outfit and I'm finally out the door. And of course I have to kiss my loves goodbye. Holly is always super sad when I leave it's pathetic look at her little froggy legs and of course i can't forget to tell nathan bye he's just adorable <laughs> in the road time slap a rewind everything so throw back ish kind of like i ain't gonna use that <laughs> she's so cute <laughs> she knows she's on camera she's just looking at the camera while you're down I just wanted to remind y'all that I do have a new giveaway going on. I'll have the link down below if you guys want to enter. There is tons of winners and lots of different Pacifica Beauty products that you can win.